Welcome back to the Legends of Zelda A Link to the Past playthrough. Yay! Playing this on the Wii U. Um, using the Wii operating system and virtual console st stuff on the Wii operating system and shit. As in like 1080p though, because the Wii U still plays the Wii stuff in 1080p, which is cool. And yeah, I got a key. Now, This I can't hurt that fucker because he's a jackass. And uh, he is in the water. Now I gotta go up here and blow this thing up. Yay! Blow it up! And if they're, like, right in front of the ladder, you want to get hurt or something, you can, like, step off to the side, and they'll, like, go over to where you're at. Off to the side, and, uh, you can kill them. So, yeah, there's, like, a little area you can get some supplies in. A few little hearts, and try and ignore them. And there we go, that worked out pretty good. Let's kill the boss. This is actually my favorite boss, just because it's so fucking weird looking. And they have actually sort of remade this for... One of the 3D Zelda games. I don't remember what one. Um, I don't think it was Ocarina of Time. It was. It might have been Majora's Mask. Something similar to it was made in Majora's Mask, I think. But I don't remember. It was actually a mini boss in one of the newer games that came out after this. So whatever, no big deal. I think it actually was Majora's Mask though, and it was probably like the exact same thing, sort of. Because I remember an enemy that was like jump or ride around like this, but whatever, I could be wrong. No big deal, it's already dead. See how fucking fast that was with the sword? Fucking two hits and it died. Now if you have the first sword, then those little things I was taking off of the thing, they actually take several hits to kill, like I think two or three hits, and probably two actually, I don't know, two or three, and that boss takes like four or five or six hits to kill, it's fucking crazy. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what this crystal chick has to say. That'd be freaking cool. And stuff. Do, 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 do. Sparkle, sparkle, motherfucker. Casual. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few know of its location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some ma other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf. The thief no... The thief no... Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Okay, goodbye, lady. I'm, you're gonna be stuffed in my pocket with the other lady, because I'm collecting ladies, apparently. And the fucking in my pocket, and then, uh, I don't know, they're, they're in my pocket. And it's funny, because they're in my pocket. Ha ha ha. Yay. One of my most hated dungeons is coming up next because it's my most, one of my most, um, it and the ice temple, actually. Uh, this one that I'm going to is, like, the most hated. Uh, because there's only one spot in the ice dungeon that I get fucking mixed up with sometimes. And it's the part where I have to, like, go around in circles to reset shit and make a sick tree. Are able to, like, continue on to the boss and stuff. But this area that I'm going to now... Oh, I fucking hate it. It sucks. Well, I gotta go there. Oh, I killed your friend. I killed you, so... Now it's not funny. Because then you don't get to suffer, because you're, like, dead. and Whatever, who cares? So... Okay, let's go ahead and lift this fucking rock up. Because I don't need to go to the dark world, or the light world now. I gotta, like, just go this way and be freaking awesome and shit. Is this way. It's still a weird number that they did. 50 bombs, 70 arrows. Like, what the fuck? You'd think they'd, like, stop at something 
That makes a little more sense. Like 50 bombs. Oh crap, not a thief. 50 bombs and 50 arrows or something, but whatever. Let's go over here and then go up here. And this is where that moss house was and stuff. And then the other house, it's like it's nothing really anymore. It's kind of funny, right? I think it's a little funny. Okay, whatever. Let's go this way. And I'll lift this up because I went the wrong way because I forgot this era had that. Damn it, stupid skeleton skull. Not a skeleton skull. A stupid ghosty thing. Being stupid. Cool, now I'm practically... I am actually technically already in the dungeon. Even though I'm not in the dungeon, uh, this whole area is part of the dungeon. And it's kind of fucked up. Because, like, you have to enter the dungeon there, but I'm gonna drop down the hole right here. You remember that hole, right? Right? Yeah, it's still there. Check it out. You have to actually be careful here, too, because... Uh, there's, like, one of those stupid hands. The wall master, or ceiling master, I think that's what it's called, ceiling master. The fucking hand things that come down and grab you. And I hate it so much. And it's actually highly suggested that, uh, you have a full magic meter and you have this half magic use thing and of course I can't do anything in there yet uh, before you come here because if you don't I'll oh, hurt uh, then you're gonna be fucking screwed I got the map let's check it out uh, it seems real simple but it's actually really fucking messed up a fucking jerk jerk ah oh, what the fuck like, it went right around me for some reason. It weird. I don't think there's anything behind these, are there? Nope, there's not. And of course not here, either. I think one of them has something behind somewhere. And that's where the chest is. I gotta blow up that entire fucking wall, but I can't get to it yet. Um, yeah, I just can't. Actually, I might... No, I gotta get the big key first, anyways. So I gotta enter somewhere else. So I got the map. Now I gotta enter somewhere else, because I need a key. And, uh, some big key and stuff. So let's go this way. This place, I always hate this fucking dungeon. It's so retarded. It's split up into three or four different entrances and exits. And you have to use three of them and so fucking retarded. And this area, I hate these mummies too. They're a bitch to kill. Because, like, ah, oh, goddamn. This is one reason why I get the red sword early. Is because these fuckers... Oh, see, there's a hand. And don't walk under it or get close to it when it I, is already on the ground. Because if you do that, then you're going to get fucked over and just going to hate yourself. And even if you kill, it just comes right back. So, yeah. I have gotten over there before. I don't remember exactly what the fuck I did. Oh, yeah, hell, look, another little thing. But, what is that? Ah, it's so, ah, it's screwed up. I don't remember what the hell I did to get over there. I think I got to hit something, but I got a key. So, that's cool. Yay! Kill a hand again. And uh, what the fuck's out here again? Seems like there's something special. Oh wait, no, I gotta go out here. Okay, duh. I gotta go out that one in order to get to the main entrance. But you have to get the big key before you get to do that. And get the big chest and everything. Because what you have in there is required to kill the boss and actually get to the boss. And make sure you don't use any of your fucking magic. Uh, I cannot emphasize that more. You can't just... Make sure you have a crap load of uh, magic when you get to the boss. And be very careful with your magic. Unless you have, like, magic potions or something. Otherwise, you're gonna find a uh, hell of a lot of trouble. Stupid hand. And this part sucks here, because you'll see why. You gotta do this just right. And be very careful, because it's fucking hand. But this button is a pressure button. A uh, weighted pressure button, whatever. Okay. Okay, there we go. Awesome, so now I gotta do this. There we go, now I gotta go through. That's a pain in the ass. You can fuck up that a lot, and every time you do, you have to re-enter, or... Even if, uh, like, the handle set you at the same er area you entered the dungeon. So, it's a pain in the ass because when you do that, it means every enemy returns, even if it's in the same room uh, that you were just reset to. And fucking sucks. It takes a while to get this done if you're not used to all the tricks of this ga ow, game and everything and you don't know what to expect. There we go, I got the big key. 
I'm not gonna be like doing everything in this fucking dungeon because it's not required. But I'll be doing some stuff, obviously. Ow, that was stupid. I just wanted to kill that fucker there. Jeez. Would you die for me, please? Fine, don't die. Be a bitch. And there we go. Magic. See, it's even giving me magic everywhere. And it's been freaking nice and stuff, like hinting at the fact that you're gonna need magic. And it's been like, yeah, you're gonna want magic. Um, here's magic. <laughs> and stuff. Freaking craziness. So, alrighty. So, what's up here? Okay, there's a shield jerk. Okay, so it looks like there. What the fuck? Uh, weird. So it looks like there's three entrances, uh, unless you count this hole as an entrance. And that is also like the end of this part too. On the next part, I'll be finishing this dungeon actually, unless I get like stuck figuring out what the fuck to do next. I don't, don't know what the hell I'm doing, but actually, there's another hole somewhere you can drop down to. I think both of these holes down here. You can drop down and enter the dungeon, I don't remember. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, on the next part, I'll be like finishing the dungeon and shit, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye. Comment, like, subscribe, I'll thank you.